it's task 4.17 out of the grade 11 new era textbook and I thought this would be a good example to go through with the five steps of acid disposal to show you how easy it can be. Okay, so firstly, it's telling us that um, we're at the end of the financial period and the end of the financial period date is the 28th of February. It also tells us our vehicles cost 132500 and the accumulated depreciation on vehicles at 1 March 2004, which is the beginning of this financial period, is equal to 47700 Okay, they also tell you that there's only one vehicle, um, so that, that 132,500 is the only vehicle, and at this day, and then at the last day of the financial year, the vehicle was sold on credit to a trade debtor for 65,000. Depreciation is provided at 20% per annum on the diminishing balance method. Okay, so now let's use um, the steps to fill in the rest of the details. Okay, so step number one tells you to move the cost price to asset disposal. They told you what the cost price is, and we know that there's only one vehicle that was in this company. So the whole 132500 goes to asset disposal. Okay, so it's going to be 132500 and 132500. Remember, there would be columns here, so it would be a debit... And credits. Okay. Then number two says calculate depreciation for the current year. Remember depreciation is month sensitive. So in this example, we are lucky that they sold it on the last day of the financial year, which means we depreciate this asset for the whole year, for the 12 months. If this, this asset was um, sold, let's say, on the 1st of December 2004, then we would depreciate this asset for the nine months that it was in use. Okay, uh, you always depreciate the asset up until the day that you sell it. So depreciation for the year is calculated and it's on the diminishing balance method. Remember, that's what they told us, at 20%. So to calculate depreciation, we are going to take the cost price, which is the 132500 Minus the accumulated depreciation from the beginning of the year, which is the 47,700 times 20%. And then if it was for shortened months, you can write it. But we know we depreciated it for the whole year because we had it for the whole year. So technically it would be 12 over 12. Okay. And then that will give you a, give you a total depreciation for the year of... 16960 and accumulated depreciation of 16960. Okay, then we step number three tells us to move accumulated depreciation to asset disposal. Now, this accumulated depreciation needs to be all the accumulation accumulated depreciation for this asset up until the day that we sold it. So, because we know that we have our accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year at 47700 and we just calculated what the depreciation for the current year is we add those two together to get the total accumulated depreciation for this asset okay so that's going to be our 47700 plus 16960 it's going to give you a total accumulated depreciation of 64660 660. Okay. Then number four tells you to record the selling price. This question told us what we sold it for. We sold it to a trade debtor for 65000 So we don't have to do any sort of calculations for this um, selling price. And we sold it to a debtor. So technically, this should read. Debtors, I've just used it from previous examples, but that line can have debtors, drawings, donations, creditors, whatever it may be. Okay, so the selling price is a 65. Okay, 
Okay, that was a simple then step number five. Okay, so now we gotta calculate it, calculate whether it's a profit or a loss. It's a profit if the selling price is greater than the book value. And it's a loss if the book value is greater than the selling price, or the selling price is less than the book value. So just to calculate the book value quick, book value is equal to your cost minus your accumulated depreciation. So this is going to be your cost of 132,500 minus the 64,660. Bear in mind that this is point number one or step number one and step number three that you're just using the amounts from there. This is going to give you a book value amount of 67,840. As you can see, we sold this asset for 65,000. So we selling price was 65, which means you can see that this figure is greater than that figure, the selling price of 65. Okay, so now you know that um, the selling price is less than the book value, then we made a loss. So, so we made no profit at all. We actually made a loss. To calculate the loss, we're going to take our book value, which is the 67,840, minus what we sold it for, 65, gives you a loss on sale of 2,840. And now that you've figured all that out, you can go and punch these numbers and the details into the individual ledger accounts.
we definitely did not make a sale so we can cross that out but we made but we've made a loss so the selling price is less than the book value okay so our loss on sale is going to be the selling price of or the book value the loss on sale is going to be the book value of 67 Okay, so our loss on sale is going to be the difference between the book value and the selling price. So it's going to be the 67,840 minus your 65,000. It's going to give you total loss on the sale of 2,840 rand. 2,840. So there you have it. That's as, as simple as it gets with um, acid disposal and this is how there you go this is as simple as it can get with um, acid disposal and using the five steps the five steps just help, help you plot acid, acid disposal in the most logical way And there we go. That's the five steps for acid disposal. It helps you do acid disposal in a logical, methodical way from moving the costs and the accumulated depreciation to calculating the profits or the loss. Hope this helped and made sense.